Hello, dear viewers, and uh, welcome to a new edition of the Daily Debate. Uh, historically, Egypt has always played a pivotal role in fostering regional stability. Egypt is a cornerstone uh, of the Arab world of the Middle East and has a pivotal role in regional and international diplomacy. That's a historic given. And under the leadership of His Excellency President Assisi, uh, Egypt has even expanded its uh, role uh, positioning the country uh, as uh, uh, a stabilizing force in the region, again, the traditional uh, role of uh, uh, Egypt. Uh, throughout the last decades, President Assisi's administration has witnessed political stances regarding strategic uh, alliances and engaging in uh, diplomatic uh, uh, endeavors that underscore Egypt's commitment to uh, uh, regional challenges and advancing uh, just uh, causes uh, in the region and globally. One of the most significant aspects, of course, of Egypt's foreign policy is its stance towards the uh, just uh, Palestinian uh, cause uh, and its uh, strong relations, of course, with the Arab world, with the African uh, region. And really, Egypt is a friend to uh, everybody uh, in the world, again, the cornerstone of stability uh, uh, and peace uh, in um, its uh, region. Tonight, uh, we have the pleasure uh, of having with us here in the studio uh, Dr. Ahmed Safti, uh, international relations uh, expert, uh, a professor in uh, uh, Malaysian and French uh, universities, along with Egyptian uh, universities, uh, a lecturer there. A very good evening to you, uh, evening, Dr. Safti, and thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you. It's allow us, please, Dr. Safti, and dear viewers, to watch a report yes. on our main uh, topic for tonight's edition of the Daily Debate, and then come back and start our discussion. Egypt's strategic relations is an essential component of the state's policy. Together with its traditional diplomatic and political functions, Egyptian diplomacy seeks to maintain strong bilateral and multilateral relations, which is an essential goal of Egypt's general policy. The nation's influence extends beyond diplomacy. Egypt's strategic alliance and partnerships with other Arab countries and global powers have been instrumental in addressing regional challenges. These alliances are built on mutual interests and shared goals, enhancing Egypt's ability to act as a mediator and a leader in the Arab world. Of course, Egypt's presence in the world forums and international conferences has further cemented its role as a key player on the global stage. By participating in high-level discussions, Egypt advocates for Arab interests, fosters development initiatives, and promotes regional security. These efforts highlight Egypt's strategic importance and its ability to influence international policy decisions. Supporting stability in the Middle East and the region is one of the objectives of Egypt's foreign policy under President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. Regarding Egypt's regional achievement and its unwavering commitment to Arab issues, it's clear that Egypt is more than just a nation. It is a beacon of stability and leadership in a region full of challenges. Egypt's multifaceted role under President Sisi compromised diplomatic efforts, strategic alliances and contributions to regional and international stability. Current regional and international circumstances have given a vivid proof that President Sisi has led the country's foreign policy over the last years on balanced basis that have caused an activation of Egypt's international relations with all regional international and continental powers. Thank you dear viewers for staying with us and thanks to Abir uh, Hussain and Abir, Abdel, uh, Abir uh, and Rasha Abdel Hamid for this uh, report. Uh, back here in the studio with uh, Professor Dr. Ahmed Asafti, uh, the uh, expert in international relations. So, Dr. Asafti, Egypt's foreign policy seeks to maintain strong bilateral and multilateral uh, uh, relations. An essential part of Egypt's general policy is steadfast policy throughout uh, the years. Again, Egypt, the, the cornerstone of stability in the region. Uh, in your opinion, how has uh, the administration of His Excellency's, uh, President Assisi's uh, administration, how has it 
um, you know, continued uh, this role and expanded on, on this role? Well, historically speaking, as you just mentioned, the Egyptian foreign policy has always been biased to the right side. I mean, it has been always been just, it has always been trying, to, trying always to be fair, okay? Even in the worst international crises, Egypt has always tried to stand into the right side when we are talking about the fair side of any case ever. President Sisi, His Excellency President Sisi, he continued with the same school that, he, that, that has a huge legacy of, at, at, at history. Okay? The idea is, is very simple. When we talk about a foreign policy, we are talking about three different aspects. One of, the, one of those aspects, I mean, if we are going to talk about the three different aspects, we are talking about stability, okay, and we are talking about alliances, and we are talking about uh, expanding the, 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 the role that you are playing, okay. When we are talking about stability, it's the same. We, there, is no, there, is not, there, is no, there is no huge change in that part, because our foreign policy has always been stable since ever. I mean, as long as I remember it, it has always been stable, okay? We stand to the right side or to the just case, okay? Now, when it goes to the and other... And we always island, make the choice of peace. And we always make the choice of stability, mm. because peace not always leads to stability. Mm. I mean, at 1973, mm. we have went to war, mm. but that was to achieve peace. Right. Even President Sadat himself, right. he said, I've had to have this war because no one was responding to my cause of peace. Yeah, of course. So the war we went through to it mm. in order to reach the peace. Mm. Okay. And the, the nickname, of course, of uh, uh, the late uh, president said that is the hero of, of war and peace. That's yeah. right. Okay. Mm. So this is this is one pillar that that mm. that keeps stable, mm. regardless what administration is uh, uh, taking place in the country. This is one stable pillar. Okay. The other pillar, which is uh, expanding your 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 role in the environment. This is where the change has ha have happened during the uh, period that His Excellency President Sisi ruled Egypt during the last 10 years. Because unfortunately, before him, for 20 or 30 years almost, the role of Egypt in the African region was declining step by step. Mm. I mean, at, Abdel, at, at President Abdel Nasser's period of time, Nasser, uh, time, Egypt played a huge role mm. in Africa, and in supporting India, the, the in Pakistan, yeah, in the, the, freed, Arab the freedom movement. He, he is the leader of the freedom movement. Yeah, he is he movement. actually yeah. the leader of mm. the freedom movements mm. all through this region. Mm. Okay? Mm. All, uh, Egypt did not only support the freedom movements mm. after, the free, after the countries were, re, were free. Egypt needed their economic assistance as well. Okay, this is a huge role that right. Egypt played in. Mm. But unfortunately, and this is one of the, I mean, one, one of the negative things about the period where President Mubarak was in charge, okay, the Egyptian role in the African continent was declining. Not only in the African continent, he was, his circle of international relation was very narrow. It's into the Arab world, okay, Mm. and few other countries. Mm. Okay. Let's talk about the, the third pillar, alliances. Mm. Okay. Mm. Again, during President Mubarak's time, mm. we had only one or two alliances, which is the American wing, the West Wing, mm. that we were playing with. Mm. Now, thanks. Uh, and I guess President Sadat played that, the cards very definitely, well. Right? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, East and West uh, during the Cold War. Uh, maybe always, the master of playing cards. He, is, he, is, he mm. is the master of cards. Yeah. This is the idea. Yeah. Okay. I remember Helmut Schmidt was the German consultant when President yeah. Sadat died. Yeah. And when he was asked to make a comment about this, he said, the last fox in the world has died. Mm. Okay? Mm. So this is how they look to him. Mm. Okay? Mm. Exactly like they look to the huge mm. rulers or the, the historic mm. rulers of Egy different Egy countries. Egy this yeah. is the idea. Mm. Now, thanks for, for the last 10 years, from the day one when President Sisi took charge, this was one of the main targets that he had. I have to play the, my cards well. Egypt has to have a huge number of alliance, okay? He, there should be a balance between the east, the east and the West. He did not neglect the West. He did not go to the East. He tried to balance everything, mm. okay? And he expanded this kind of alliances. I mean, this is for the first time since a huge period. We have alliances in the East side, 
whether it's North, whether it's South Korea, whether it's China or Russia. We have alliances on the West side, whether it's Europe or United States and its alliances, mm. and we have a huge alliances in the Arab countries. Mm. So mm. when you're talking about this and, binder, and with China, with China, I, mean, I said when East, we talk about yeah. the East, we said yeah. South Korea, yeah. China, yeah. and uh, and Russia, right. Right. with their alliances with other Asian countries, of course. okay, yeah. as well as the the West side, mm. Europe and the States mm. and and its alliances, mm. and the Arab world as well. Mm. Taking into consideration that the Egyptian rule in Africa is expanding. Mm. He was very wise when he didn't go into severe conflicts with Ethiopia. Even instance. with the most critical cases, mm. like the case with Ethiopia. Mm. Because mm. other leaders mm. would have made mistakes when it comes to that side. Because unfortunately, mm. sometimes I hear people trying to, uh, how can I say it, try thinking that. We, that the Egyptian diplomacy did not play the right rule when it comes to the, pro, to the problem with the dam of Ethiopia. Okay, this is not true. Okay, in the current world, in the current period that we are living in, if any country do a mistake, it's not punished by the country which ha, which is which it is mistaken from. No, actually, this is being used as an excuse from other enemies who are not clear in front of you for the time being to try to have some sort of attack or anything. Going to the most, one of the most severe problems that we are facing right now, Gaza, mm. Palestine. Be before we go yes. into that, um, and, and I, of course Egypt's support for the Palestinian cause is, um, you know, has been steadfast for, for decades. Definitely. Um, so the balance. So what, what you are talk, uh, telling us here, Dr. Osofti, is that since uh, His Excellency President Sisi took over 10 years ago, there is a balance when it comes to international diplomacy and, 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 and the alliances. And the, you also mentioned the, the most important, perhaps, achievement is going back to Africa and, and taking Africa yes. uh, into uh, Egypt's arms again. That's right. Okay. okay. Now, Gaza, this is a, this is a huge um, challenge. And, and um, we, ha we, are, we, ha we are witnessing a, an unprecedented barbaric uh, aggression by the occupation force Israel against Palestinians all across the occupied territories, especially in Gaza, mainly civilians, women and children yes. uh, um, being killed. And Israel is also obstructing uh, the flow of aid uh, via Egypt, uh, uh, the main gate really to, uh, to, to Gaza. At the same time, there is a peace treaty with Israel. At the same time, Egypt has a firm stance when it comes to rejection of the forced displacement of Palestinians from their lands uh, and, of course, to any Israeli presence in, in the Rafah cross, uh, crossing border. Talk to us about this is a huge challenge. I mean, the situation is very fluid. Uh, Egypt is also playing a mediating role, a great mediating, uh, mediator role. So uh, a lot of, uh, uh, with the Arab world, with the Islamic, uh, the OIC, Organization of Islamic Conference, diplomacy, so Egypt is pl playing everywhere, uh, uh, but again, I mean, it seems the Israelis don't want peace. I mean, they're not even adhering to the pressures of their main ally, the United um, States of America and, and President Biden. So. What? Well, why do you... Sorry. Never mind. You'll get a chance to answer okay. that, Dr. Sati, okay. but because there's you the call for al Asha, okay. the, um, the uh, call for prayer, uh, and then al Asha, you first go there and then come back and let you Thank answer you. the question.